Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you all? Yesterday, Matt and I, we went to the paint shop. Actually, I'll leave the little clips that I took here. Oh, that's if anything, you want it to be less green. <laughs> We're going to get these two, old white and bone, drop cloth. It looks so different here. Look, it looks so, so different. We're going to leave old white and try French grey. It looks green, um, more green, so we'll try this. I didn't take that many clips actually, but basically we went to the paint shop and we looked at the different colours of paint and we needed kind of, we needed more options and we needed to see the swatches a lot better. We got two more. If you haven't watched my video, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. We're basically going to paint one of our... Sorry, that was a bad start. My camera stopped working, but it's fine now. Um, basically, if you haven't watched my previous videos, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. We're thinking of painting one of our rooms and we tried drop cloth, but it was too muddy. Um, so we got these two colors. We got bone and French gray. Matt likes bone because it says number 15 and my birthday is the 15th so he says he likes this but we need to do a swatch. We picked these two up yesterday. I think French grey is nice. I know it says grey and I don't want anything grey. On the swatch it looked like um, it was more green toned. Do you know what I realised? You can't trust the swatches because it looks so different on the actual wall. I think it's because we don't have a big window in that room. So we actually need to kind of get these little paint samples and see what it looks like on the wall. Um, so we'll do that this morning. And then I'm going to make us a juice because I'm craving an orange apple lemon juice. So that's kind of what we're doing now. We didn't paint this room when we moved in. We kind of left it as it is. I'll show you drop cloth because that's... Oh, here. Both paint pots are here, darling. Oh. Oh, that's nice and green as well. They're nice colors. I think they look nice. This one looks nice and bright, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I don't think so, no. <laughs> Also, don't mind this. We're drying up clothes in here. Matt likes this because it's number 15 yeah. and it's bone and my birthday is on the 15th yeah, of born, August. Born so. 15. <laughs> it looks different in the tin and then you put it on the wall and it looks completely different. So that's why. I think like one, where do you want me to be in? Uh, next to it. So right you know. beside it? Yeah. What do you reckon? I think that's too bright. Do you reckon? Why is it so satisfying to put paint on a wall? So okay. drop cloth, bone. I think this is going to be too dark. Do you know what? I actually like drop cloth. Yeah. <laughs> French grey? Yeah. That might be good for us as well because you were born in France. <laughs> you don't have to have a connection to the paint colour. But you do. Um, you taught me that. I know. I always try and link everything back to us. It's a sign. It's a sign. That's one thing I always say. French grey. Okay, let's try French grey. You can see they're all kind of the green family. Um, Oof. It's a lot. Look at the colour in the tub compared to that. I know, it's so different. Right, what we'll do is let it dry mm. and then come and see it. So French grey, drop cloth, um, bone. I'm just sitting here just to get a different kind of angle and different lighting. French grey, too dark. But French grey would look lovely in the bathroom. Mm hmm do you know what's so funny? Just sitting here, drop cloth is so nice. And it's crazy because initially I thought it was too muddy. We're letting the paint settle. I'm just taking the fruits out of here. We've got loads of oranges that we need to drink up. Apples. Ginger too. Ginger. Um, yeah, no, it's so exciting to kind of see the paint on the wall. It, I actually really like drop cloth now, which is funny, but I think I needed to see all the colours side by side. Pink lady apples I keep as the ones that you can just eat. These ones I like to put in the juice, the gala apples. What, do you, do you put that in like that or do you grate it or anything? No, you just cut it. Just put it in there? Yeah. Yeah. 
I did what Amma does, and you know how she puts everything in a bowl when she makes the juice? Is this bright? Like it bright? Yeah, I don't know if that's better. I might put it back on. Um, yeah, you know how she puts everything in a big bowl? So I've done that. We've got big oranges, small oranges, apple, ginger, lemon. That's it. Loads. I'm going to make a big juice today. We also have some carrots here. I don't know if I'm going to put cap. No, you know what? I'll put two carrots in. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Good for you. We actually put it in Matt's whiskey glass. <laughs> Mm. Oh my goodness. That's good, isn't it? No. Here, I Too much might, ginger. I think you might need to put a bit of oil in it. Oh, it's so fresh, it's unreal. I don't know, anytime I make a juice, it never turns out the way Amma no, makes it. Do you like it? Good. Matt likes it, okay, that's fine. It never tastes like Amma's juice. Amma's is just next level. Mm. Very strong ginger. What do you reckon? Definitely not this, too dark. Too dark uh... Let's turn the light off as well. It's completely different. No, French grey there. Looks it's so... similar, but then drop cloth. Hello, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. Look how much moisturiser I put on. That's a bit too much. Um, I am... Um, well, yesterday was an absolute fail of a vlog day. Matt and I, we... Um, we had such a chilled time off, I'll be real honest. He had a day off work and... I think the last time we spoke was about the paint and then I didn't pick up the camera. He was watching football and I was reading my book and we also started watching this new show on BBC. What's it called? The... Hold on, I need to tell you because it was actually quite good. We're on the first episode. Um, what's it called? I'll leave it on the screen here. We just started watching it last night and... We're going to watch an episode a night and I'm going to wait for Matt because you know what I'm like, I end up watching the whole show on my own um, but this show I will wait and we'll watch it together in the evenings. We started watching that yesterday and it was very, very good. I am excited to watch episode two. We are having pizza night with our friends and that's later on tonight so they're coming over. I thought I should bake, hold on I'm drinking some green tea. I thought, oh my hands are slippery. <laughs> I think where I put so much moisturiser on. Um, I thought I could bake a little cake today. For me, this time feels a bit like lockdown for me, where I'm in the house, I'm baking, I'm reading, and it's a lot of being in the house on my own. And um, I just thought I'm gonna bake a little Victoria sponge cake. Some of you told me to do it, and you said it's really easy to put it all together. And I just thought it'll be nice after our pizza, we can have a little slice of cake and a cup of tea. Um, so I need to go to the shops to buy some strawberries. I know strawberries aren't really, it's more of a summer thing, isn't it? But I'm gonna go and see if there's any kind of big strawberries in the shops. And I also need to buy some new strawberry jam and I need to get some cream. I'm gonna do um, cream. I know you can do buttercream, or you can do whipped cream. I think I'm gonna do whipped cream just to make it nice and fresh. I am going to leave the recipe that I use down in the description box below. I know some of you like to see kind of which recipe I'm using. So I think her name is Cupcake by Gemma. Or just YouTubed um, Victoria Sponge and there's so many recipes. So I just picked one and I'm gonna go with her method. So I'll leave it down in the description box. I'm using a YouTube video because it's just easy to kind of look through. I think it was about a seven minute video. Yesterday was actually a really lovely time. Um, Matt and I, we didn't do much, but we were just kind of together, not having any pressure of going to the hospital. I am really worried about this because I feel like it's gonna snap off. A little bit of an indent here so I need to speak to the nurses about that and see how I can get it just to stick like this maybe get a little tape or something but what I've been doing is I've been trying to keep it in place with this little sleeve because I don't want that bit to snap off because if that snaps off then I won't be able to have chemo and I need to have chemo right that's something I'll discuss with the nurses tomorrow and see I think it's when I'm sleeping it kind of folds over. I think that's what's going on when I'm kind of, and I don't want this to snap here. 
it looks very close to snapping off, which isn't good at all. So we shall sort that out tomorrow. And then also I need to have a blood test done because what they do is they do blood tests regularly just to make sure I'm okay for the next lot of chemo. I think they check kind of infection levels and tumour markers and so many of you were telling me about the tumour markers and not, what, not to worry too much about it because um, I think in one of the videos I talked about my tumour markers being very, very high. There were so many of you that told me don't worry too much about it because it does vary and it's not enough. Don't worry too much about it. Basically he said don't worry too much about it and so I'm not thinking too much about it but I am still going to find out. Every time I go in and have my blood test I always find out what my tumour markers are. It's just one of those things since I got diagnosed I just, it's nice for me to know because when it goes down it makes me feel good. It makes me think oh you know something's happening and it's working so um, I know I shouldn't worry too much about the numbers. You know what I've stopped drinking completely? Coffee. Coffee is something I'm just not wanting at all. I don't know whether it's my taste buds or I don't know. I've just been loving green tea and peppermint tea. So I guess that's really, really good. Anytime I try and think, oh, I'll have a coffee today. I just think, oh, I really don't want it. I really, really, it makes me, even yesterday, Matt made me a cup of tea, um, a cup of coffee. And he said, try some. And honestly, I took a sip and I was like, no, this is not for me. I just, I don't like the taste. I don't, and it's crazy because you all know I love, love, love coffee. So hopefully when chemo is over, I will find my love for coffee again. But right now I'm just enjoying my green tea, which is good. It's really light, green tea, peppermint tea, um, even lemon water has been really nice. The thing I've been eating the most is olives. Olives is my favourite snack. I have a feeling that once chemo is done, I am going to hate olives <laughs> because I've had it so much during this time. And they always say, well, I find for me, the things that I liked during my last chemo, I don't like it. I stopped liking it after the chemo was over. So I'm thinking now I'm eating so much olives that after chemo is done, I'm going to link olives big olives you know the big green ones to chemo so i think it's going to put me off but it's the only thing i love if i have a little nap and i wake up the first thing i do is open the fridge and put an olive in my mouth <laughs> once i have my blood test done and then i get results then we're on to the third cycle of chemo which is crazy i feel like that's kind of halfway through isn't it because it's 12 weeks every other week so wait is that right so yeah, because it's two, four, six. So at my sixth week, we're halfway through. And the sixth week is the third cycle. So I feel like that's kind of gone quite quickly, but in the same breath, it feels like forever. And I think it's because I am, I am kind of at home and all the days seem to be merging together. It, it, it's weird because once I have chemo, I'm knocked out. I'm sleeping, I'm nauseous, I feel like I don't want to get out of bed. And then four or five days later, I get my appetite back and I just want to eat everything. And then six, seven days later, I'm back to feeling like me again. And then once I feel like me, <laughs> I'm back to having chemo again. So it's just a cycle. It does feel like a cycle, but I'm hoping this is it and it doesn't get any worse but I just you know with all of this you just can't predict so as long as I don't get an infection and as long as I'm going to each chemo session and that's all I can really do isn't it and then after that we'll have some time I know so many of you told me don't put your heart on chemo ending in December because if you have an infection or if something happens and your body needs a little bit of a break, you might have to have a break from chemo and so it might go on to the new year. And that's a good point because sometimes I do kind of set my mind on, right, during December my chemo will be over and then we move on, but it might not be the case. It might be where they say you might need more chemo, you, you know, so I need to kind of 
lower my expectations. I think that's something I need to do. And I always say to myself, have no expectations. But I think where my mind, how it works, it's very much a tick, 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 right? You do chemo one, chemo two, chemo three, and then it's a tick, you know? But instead I should just kind of go with the flow. And that's important. And I know some of you told me, just Tiffany, don't, don't think about chemo coming to an end in December because that might not be the case. And I think you're all speaking from, well, those of you that told me that is speaking from experience because you probably have gone through it and you kind of think, oh, right, it's 12 weeks, but you don't, you might have had an infection in that time. So you're telling me, which makes complete sense because I don't ever think about, oh, I'll have an infection or I might get really unwell or something might show up in the blood test. So they might need to take a little break. I think it's important for me not to put timing. Like, it should just be, let's just see how every week goes rather than me say, right, 12 weeks and then done. You know, it just, it's never really that simple and straightforward. There's always a little bit of, um, a little bit of uncertainty, which, I need to kind of prepare for, um, yeah. Also, it's so funny because we have decided to go with drop cloth. When we first put drop cloth on, I said to Matt, no, it's a little bit too dark, it's a bit too muddy, but now we've got the other two colors side by side drop cloth, we are definitely going with that. I'll show you, let's, let's go, because it's nice and bright now, you can see the color a little bit better, whereas yesterday it was such a dark and gloomy and rainy day, I don't know, the colours weren't really picking up, but also the camera doesn't pick up the colours as good as if you were here, you know? <laughs> it's such a beautiful colour. If this room was big, I would definitely go for that. And if we had more light in this room, this is a beautiful colour. But this is the one we're going for, which is drop cloth, which is a beautiful colour as well. I love all three of them. They're all so lovely. It's funny because when we first put on drop cloth, I said to Matt, no, it's a bit too muddy, it's just not it. But now that we've put two layers on and we let it sit, and I think that's the colour we're going to go for. So very excited for Matt to have, I don't know when we're going to be able to paint it because I need to figure out when Matt's off from work. To be honest, we should have done it yesterday, but I wanted to make sure we had, I just wanted to make sure we were happy with the colour before we painted the whole room. I'm very excited for our little project. We have been meaning to do it for a while, or well, since we moved in, we kept thinking about it and then we just haven't done it, so it's the perfect time. Also, I got some new baubles. I'll show you because some of you like to see. I spoke, to, I spoke about the blue bauble situation. Basically, I'm collecting over the next couple of weeks uh, well, I have been collecting. I, I think I have enough now and I have some in the cupboards as well. So I have plenty of blue baubles now. This one came through. I feel like I should have ordered two boxes of these. I thought they're gonna be a little bit bigger, but they're very small, um, but they are beautiful. Honestly, I love them. They are velvet blue baubles. Look at that. It looks like black on the camera, but it is actually navy blue. I might order another box of these because they are so cute. I don't know why, on the picture it looked bigger, so I thought one box would be enough, but I'll order another box and then I'm good. I think we don't need any more blue baubles. So Christmas trees are ready to go up, really. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it pretty soon. Some of you told me you put it up in September. Honestly, I would keep, I would do that. I don't think Matt would be on board with me putting the Christmas trees up in September, but I love that for you. Honestly, I absolutely love that. I think next year I might do that, sneak in a little Christmas tree. Maybe at the beginning of October. I think September, <laughs> I don't know how Matt will feel about that. <laughs> It is really nice to have Christmas decorations. Well, we have a one pillow out. You know the one I got from Sainsbury's, the really cute one? I'll show you, just in case you haven't seen that video. This is the only Christmas item we have out at the moment, but that's gonna change very soon. I should do it, just in case I get poorly or I don't feel very well. I should kind of do the tree. I like how I'm using that as an excuse to try and get the Christmas trees up earlier. <laughs> Before we go to the shops, I just want to make sure, so we've got caster sugar, I just want to make sure we have enough baking bits. In the video I watched, the lady said, 
measure out the egg, so weigh it out, and then if the eggs weigh 180, then the sugar and the flour do everything the same, butter all at 180. So um, I was not gonna do that. I was gonna do 200, 200, 200, because that's what I'm used to. But she said weigh the eggs first and then do the exact same measurement. So we'll try that. Um, I need to get some butter, that's another thing as well. And then I've got everything else. I've got baking powder, yeah, everything else is here. I'm gonna write a list actually, because I'll forget. I'm gonna park my car here. Um, I'm thinking after this, I might go and get my nails done. And you know what? I haven't done it in a while and it's gonna make me feel good. I just feel like I need to do it. It's gonna make me feel like me. And I think that's so important. My nails have really, they're so ready to be done, but I just haven't had the energy to even think about my nails. So I'm thinking after this, oh, this parking isn't the best. Let's see if I can get it in there. You know when you're parking and someone's watching you? <laughs> that's when everything goes wrong. But that was okay. And that's okay. Yeah, I'm thinking today, I'm definitely gonna get my nails done. Before, yeah, why not? Why not? Why am I not gonna do it? I should do it. We actually really loved love 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 this color but i'm gonna go for something different not sure i don't think i'll do christmas nails yet last time i did a christmas tree do you remember look how happy it's making me just thinking about getting my nails done it's those little things you know for me i can't get my eyebrows done well i can but i've decided not to because if my hair starts falling out um haven't noticed anything by the way so i don't know i um I know the chances of your hair falling out with this chemo is very, very high, so I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to worry too much about it, but I didn't, I haven't done my eyebrows because I thought if my eyebrows start falling out, then I've got a lot of hair, so I haven't done my eyebrows in so long. It's so messy, but you know when you get your eyebrows done and you feel so refreshed, I just feel like you, for me anyways. When I get my eyebrows done, I genuinely feel like me, but I'm not doing it. I just I just think, let's leave it and let's get chemo done. And even if I grow out a mono brow, it's fine. It is what it is. It just means that I'll have a lot of hair to kind of work with. And if it falls out, I can draw it in, etc., etc. So can't control my eyebrows so not doing my eyebrows but my nails is something I can do and I am going to do and today is the day and it's making me so happy <laughs> I always come to this section and look at the books and I think I'm gonna get this yeah I'm gonna get it listen for the lie um, it's the last one on there, so I think that's a sign. That means people are picking this up and it's a good book. <laughs> I can't believe how much I'm enjoying dark murder thriller storylines. It's really, I think it's, it's not something I would have used to ever pick up. Let me come over here so no one can see me. I would never pick up books like this before because I'd be scared, but now I am hooked. I'm just loving mystery dark books <laughs> I think it's just nice because it makes me kind of switch off what's going on in my life and just be really involved in a in a story and I think that's why I like reading books because it just makes me switch off what's going on in my life and I think it's nice to kind of go into another world and just be part of that world so yeah I'm definitely picking this up let's scan it in Look what's behind me, Christmas bits. Let's have a look. Oh, I love this. Look at these little plates. Christmas trees. It's a reindeer mug. Cute. I'm gonna just stick to what I wrote on my shopping list because this is what happens, I get. I'm just gonna um, get the things on my list. Olives. I stuck to the shopping list, minus one thing, which was the book. Everything else, 
I need to have an olive. I really want an olive. <laughs> this is the only thing that wasn't part of the shopping list, but I really, I really am excited to read it. It says at the top, am I a murderer? You tell me, dot, dot, dot. This is the one I seem to get all the time. This is the double stuffed Halkidiku olives. Greek olives stuffed with garlic and jalapeno chili. It's so nice because it's the big one and it's got jalapenos and garlic in it. Mmm. Why is that the best snack ever? I think it's because it's got garlic in the middle. It's a bit crunchy and the jalapeno. It's not spicy at all. There's olives that are mixed, you know, black and green, but I just don't like black olives. Actually, I should try it out because I feel like my taste buds have changed, so I might like black olives now, so I should try the mixed one next time. I think it's gonna start to rain soon, but I'm still gonna go and get my nails done. Yeah, let's do it. I've got my AirPods in my bag as well, so it just means that I can kind of listen to, watch, listen to something or watch friends whilst I'm getting my nails did. So funny because you know how I say nails did. Some people get really triggered by that. I say I'm gonna get my nails did or I got my nails did. <laughs> and it's funny because some people just say that's not the right way of saying it. <laughs> nails done. Do you know what colour I went for? It's called Olive Garden. I think I picked it because I like the name of the colour and also it's very similar to the paint, you know, drop cloth. It's a little bit darker than drop cloth but loving it. It's, you see it? Oh, it's such a nice colour. It's like a muted down green grey. I'm actually loving changing up the colours on my nails. <laughs> I still love my white nails, don't get me wrong, that's my absolute favourite. But it's actually really nice to change it up. This is so nice, I love it, love it, love it. Let's go home and bake our cake. I'm so excited because I've never ever baked a Victoria sponge. A few of you said it's not complicated and the recipe, um, the video that I watched looked very straightforward as well. my cake tins I think they're meant to be eight eight inch but I think mine is ten so I think it's gonna be very kind of um, thin it's gonna be a thin Victoria sponge let's see if it's ready it's a clean skewer so it's ready to come out If I could turn back time, I think I would have done four eggs, not three eggs, because my tins are bigger. So I would have measured out four eggs and then the same measurement. So if it was 300 grams, I would do 300 grams caster sugar, 300 grams butter. And yeah, because this is, you can see, it's gonna be very, very thin. Um, it's my fault because the tray isn't eight inches. This is a bit bigger. You know what? It might not look full, but it will taste yum. And at least I know for next time. You know what? I've learned from this and next time I will do four medium eggs because this time I did three and the recipe actually says three large eggs. So yeah. Do you know what? It will taste nice. It might not look the best, but it will definitely taste nice. It got really hot. Um, I am letting the cakes cool down. I was so tempted to do it all over again, but then I thought, who who do I think I am? I'm not on the Bake Off. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just, it's because I know where I went wrong. Um, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs>
my darling is on his way home and then our friends are coming over i i'm going to do the whipped cream but not now because i don't the cake still needs to cool down and i want the whipped cream to be really fresh so i'm going to wait a little bit before i actually make the whipped cream and put strawberries on it i'm not sure how to decorate it i might just put cream jam and then the, a little bit of cream on top as well and then a little bit of strawberries i think <laughs> So this is not coming off and I need to get parchment paper because then I can just pull it out. Um, it's just not coming off. So what I've decided to do is this one's come off the other bit. Let me show you. This one came off completely, but this one didn't. What I'm going to do is put all the cream and jam on here and then this could be the lid and put it on top. And then this can just stay at the bottom and we can cut it and make it work. I don't want to peel it off. What I've learned from today is that I need parchment paper, I need to do the measurements correctly, and that's that. <laughs> I'm gonna use a whip up double cream and a little bit of caster sugar, no, icing sugar. And then we've got strawberries here, which I'm going to deep clean. I wanna deep clean these. Do you know what? I think I just need to trust the process. I think it's looking okay. I'm just kind of waiting for the top of the cake to cool down completely. Um, I'm gonna wait another five more minutes before I... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the top on and then put a little bit of cream at the top and then strawberries, and then that's it, done. Reason why I'm gonna put another layer of cream is because there's it's quite a lot left, so I don't want to waste it, so I'll just put a little bit at the top and then... Okay, you know what? I'm actually excited. I didn't have much hope for this, but now... I definitely need to buy parchment paper, and then this would have been so much easier. You know what? I've learned a lot from this experience, um, but it looks okay, doesn't it? you just got to trust the process. <laughs> it's going in the middle of... The dining table it's actually not finished i need to put a little bit of icing sugar on the top um and then it's all done what you <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> i know it's very like summer vibes but did you try that? No. no oh it's coming know. off yeah oh my goodness what did you try I just tried lifting it off. We're not gonna take this off just in case everything falls apart, but at least we know when we cut it, it should be okay. <laughs> um, so everyone's trying the cake. Oh my gosh, look at my cheeks, it's all pink. Um, and I'm gonna ask everyone a question. How much would you pay? Per slice? Yeah. Five pounds. Yeah? yeah. Five whole pounds. It's absolutely delicious. It's, she's made a really light sponge. <laughs> um, the perfect amount of cream, she's put caster sugar in with the cream, which makes it nice Icing sweet. sugar, icing sugar. Oh, you said caster sugar. Oh, did sugar. I? Icing sugar. Icing sugar, beautiful. Yeah, we should really kind of get in there. Yeah, <laughs> she's a jam, <laughs> strawberry jam. Yeah. Perfect. Just like a delicious. Um, would you like to <laughs> How much that? would you pay? This, this one's slice is already gone. How much would you pay? Millions. Oh, oh no, millions. Why five pounds? I just meant, let's go competitive, <laughs> nice. Yeah. We didn't want to go silly. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it, it was a big slice. Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you? It's the next morning. I'm wearing the green. I'm absolutely, I'm actually obsessed with the color green at the moment, like with my nails and the paint and my We Got This sweatshirt. So I always say whenever we go to the hospital, we've got to wear the We Got This merch. I'll leave a link down in the description box as always. Yesterday was such a lovely, lovely day. Um, I actually really had the best time baking the cake, taking my time, and then 
having our friends over so we had pizza and then we all had a bit of the cake the cake was actually incredible so i'll leave um the recipe that i used down in the description box below um there's only a little bit left they took some home we gave them some home to take with them just because we won't be able to eat all of that i didn't actually expect it to taste nice the cake was so fluffy and light and yeah it's something i will definitely bake it again i know now just to do a bit more so i might do four medium eggs instead instead of three because i've got um bigger tins so i've learned i learned a lot from baking that cake and i'm just so happy it turned out really nice i'm gonna go to the hospital um i've got my blood test and pick line cleaning day so We'll get that sorted out now. And then after that, I'm gonna go see a friend. So I'm just happy that I'm doing things, you know? I'm gonna have chemo in three or four days time. Um, so it's important for me to kind of do this and see family, friends, and just keep myself busy because when I have chemo, it knocks me out kind of four or five days and I'm just always so tired and not wanting to do anything and not wanting to see people. So it's good that I'm kind of, doing things now and seeing people now. My appointment is early this morning. Well, not early, it's at half nine. Um, so I was in a little bit of traffic earlier, but I'm pa I've passed it now, so that's good. It's quite empty, the roads are so empty now, I'll show you. And the weather, the weather is unreal, unreal today. a few car parking spots so that's really good um maybe i'll park in there it might be easier i'm gonna have to park somewhere else <laughs> see this is why i come early because i know i'm not the best at parking i feel like they're quite narrow or is it just me? I think it's me. I'm the problem. Okay, let's do it this way. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Do you know what, right? I am okay at parking. It just takes me a while to kind of figure out... Figure out um, how to do it. It's a skill. It, if you can park in the first go, that's an actual skill. Because... I have, I, I don't have that skill. <laughs> Some days I think, wow, I'm so good at parking. And then there's days like today where I think that wasn't your best go. Right, car's in. <laughs> Let's go and get blood test pick line all sorted out. And I also need to ask about the pick line because it's folding over. I just need to make sure that it's not going to snap off. So I need to ask the nurse about that. And that's it really. No other. I have an appointment with the doctor as well. Last time it was face to face and they have to wait for the blood test results. And so there's a lot of waiting around. So this time they asked me, do you want to wait around and see the doctor face to face or would you like a phone call? I said I'd like a phone call because it's just essentially going over the blood test and for the doctor to ask to sign off for the next chemo. So we can do that over the phone. Otherwise I'm waiting here a couple of hours and you know, I just said phone call is absolutely fine. The phone call is booked in for half three. Um, so I've got to keep my phone on loud and just make sure I don't miss that phone call from the doctors. Oh, such a lovely day. Loving it. I parked in that car park. I don't know why, I actually prefer the other car park, but this is just so much closer to where I need to go. I have an appointment today. Do um, you have a line? A pick line, yeah. I'm all done now, going to the car. Um, yeah, that was really, really quick. So I'm so glad I told the doctor to call me to tell me the results because otherwise I'll just be 
waiting around. All she'll tell me is the tumour markers, how I am. She'll ask me all those questions about side effects and then sign me off for the next chemo. That's all done, I'm so happy. I'm gonna put my phone on loud so that when the doctor calls me, my phone will be on me, but it's still morning time. They said the doctor will call me around half three. So, um, but I'll keep my phone just in case they decide to call me earlier and then we can have a little chit chat. I'm gonna go to my friends now. We're having Nando's for lunch, which I'm so excited about. I think I'm gonna get a little chicken wrap um, and chicken wrap. Yeah, I think that's what I want for lunch. No, this is bad, but I actually didn't have any food this morning. Um, so I'm going straight on to lunch. I just, I didn't feel like eating. I have some medication that I need to take, my antibiotics. I've got that in my handbag. Let me take these clips out. Um, so I'll take that with my lunch. I guess we had dinner quite late last night. Was it quite late? Mm, I don't know. I just didn't feel like eating anything this morning. I just spoke to my sister. She's joining us for lunch as well. So it's going to be a really nice girly time. I think we need it. We really, really need some girly time. So excited. Then I took the anti-sickness. Any coughs or colds? No coughs, no colds. 68 today. It's 68. I'll speak to you then. Bye bye. I've just been waiting on that phone call and yay, ready for the next chemo. They've signed me off. My CA199, CA199. <laughs> so it was, I'll tell you what the numbers were. So these are the tumour markers that I've talked about before. They were 371, which was very, very high, and I was really worried, and I was trying to be strong, and I was worried because that's a very high number for me. Then it went down to 266, and today it's 68. <laughs> Honestly, that's come down so much, hasn't it? It's today, it's 68, guys. I can't believe it. Ah! I'm so happy. I know tumour markers are something that they look at in the blood test, and... I know I shouldn't worry too much about it and it's just one of those things, but for it to be down to 68, I'm just praying to God that the chemo is working and things are happening in my body and oh, I'm so, so happy. I feel really happy and I'm just ready for a little nap. The past few days has been incredible. I've had a really nice couple of days and I just want to zonk out. I feel drained out and I was waiting for that phone call. So now I can just breathe. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Honestly, I appreciate each one of you. You're all so sweet and so amazing for being here and for just being with me. You know, I'm, I never feel like I'm on my own and it's just nice to be able to talk to you all the time. My Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. My book club page on Instagram is Tiffany Thinks Book Club. I will see you in my next video. I'll see you in my next video, Thursday or Sunday. See you really, really soon. Bye. I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. Pssh.